this is Lee. Um, hope everyone's having a good day. I just wanted to come on real quick and just do a quick video. This is a topic that I've been wanting to discuss for a long time. Um, I did touch on the topic of domestic violence um, in a previous video, but it was on domestic violence against men. I know that a lot of people don't really think about that type of domestic violence, but it does happen. But that's I'll link that video either in the end cards um, and I'll put it in, in the uh, description. But I wanted to talk about domestic violence against women. It's something that I have experienced before. I experienced it for many years. Um, I don't wanna go into too much detail today because that would probably be a discussion that's gonna be a little bit longer than what I wanted to put out today. Basically, I don't have a lot of triggers, but when I hear about someone who kills their girlfriend, their wife, their baby mama, whatever, it is so disheartening because I know that I was in that situation and it could have been me. So I seen a recent tweet. I'll go ahead and link the story also in the description so that way you can see the whole you can actually, um, I think they have a video and they just did an update to this story. So you can just go ahead and check it out yourself or you can go directly to my website. Um, but either way, I'll link that below. Uh, basically this, um, I'm just gonna quickly say what happened. So there was a domestic violence situation. This just happened up not too far from here in the Bay Area. I think they said San Carlos. And the boyfriend who was probably I guess the ex-boyfriend because she did have a restraining order against him which we know restra restraining orders don't mean shit for a lot of things um anyway so they didn't go into detail they don't have all the detail they didn't release all the detail as to what happened to lead up to this point but basically he beheaded her in the middle of the street there were witnesses luckily her kids didn't see this but they say, witnesses say that there was some sort of sword fight in the middle of the street. I'm taking it, it was just him with the sword. Um, they said machete in the other story, but neither here nor there. And he decapitated her head. They said she had a restraining order against him. They just updated the information that he was schizophrenic and he had horrible mood swings. So I'm sure they're gonna be updating this story, this story a lot more but I just wanted to just give my opinion about things like this. It is hard for women to leave domestic, some domestic violence situation. You never know, every situation when it comes to domestic violence is different. Sometimes people are like, oh, why do people stay? You don't know people's circumstances, um, but there's times when people can get out of those circumstances and that's when they you just have to do what you have to do. I'm a survivor of that, I've been through two physical, two abusive relationships. And I've been through, those were physical, and then I've been through mental um, abuse as well. But physical is nothing like it. And it just triggers me when I hear stories like this because I feel so bad for the children. I feel so bad for the kids. They said that they went out to, the, to that house on domestic violence calls several times. I mean, isn't that usually what happens? It's usually, several times before somebody does something. That's why it is so important to understand who you're with, because if he was, supposedly he was schizophrenic is what they're saying, but then that means that there's mental health that was not addressed or it was addressed and he decided not to get any help for it. I don't know, I don't know the circumstances. But beside that, it's always not because somebody is schizophrenic. You know, but it's just important to be sure that when you are out of the situation, when you are out of it completely, however that looks, when you know that you're out, he's not still stalking you, he's not still coming for you, you are out, out of the situation. And I'm speaking from a place of, I've been there, done that. You have to heal. However that looks to you, whether it's going to therapy, whether it's 
whatever the case may be. I'm not gonna go into what you need to do or anything like that. But when you are in a place in your life when you are ready to be back out in the dating field, whether it's years that go by, whenever you're ready, because nobody can tell you when you're ready. Nobody can tell you when you're healed until you, you know when you're healed. When you're ready to have that self-love because you have to start loving yourself. There's so many steps to healing yourself when it comes to somebody who puts their hands on you. It is, it, 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 it takes its toll. It took me a lot of years. Um, <clears throat> but obviously I'm married. If you've seen any of my previous videos, um, I'm happily married. I attracted the type of relationship that I knew I deserved and that I knew that I wanted. And I'm so, so hoping, and I'm just speaking this over, speaking this energy over every woman that's going through this right now. If you can get out, whatever you can do, however that looks, if it, you're able to do it safely, do what you have to do. But when you hear stories like, but there's some women that hold on and they can get out, but they still want to say, sis, I'm not judging you. But people crazy. These men, some of these men out here are crazy and they don't give a fuck what they do. They don't care who they do it to. There's too many stories about men killing their wives, uh, domestic violence situations. Women been going through shit for years and as they've been silent because nobody knows. Just do whatever you can. And when you are at that healed place, however long that takes, however that looks, be sure that when you are ready that you attract the good man the right person in your life because i've seen it too many times where people get out of situations and they keep attracting the same man They're like why i keep attracting the same kind of man and you attract what you put out you're probably not healed yet more than likely you are not healed if you keep attracting the same type of dude the same type of nigga, the same type of motherfucker who's like this, that means that you're not healed because you're not putting out the energy of I'm healed, I deserve better, I love myself, I deserve someone who's gonna treat me, treat me like I should and want and deserve to be treated. When you out there wanting to manifest your man, don't, beside all the other shit that you want out of this relationship or from that person, be sure that you put it out there how you want that person to be mentally too. Cause you don't want to track somebody who seems like they one way and then you come to find out that they ain't taking their fucking meds or they're not getting the mental health that they need. That's men or women. But you just really have to be careful and really when you putting things out there, know what you want and know what you don't want. Cause when you know what you don't want to attract, it makes it easier to attract the things that you do want. I'm gonna just leave that for now. I hope y'all follow that story because it's really important share that story um with somebody you know who's going through that or just share it with, with with your sisters or whatever you know what i'm saying just just share it out there with our with our goddesses and stuff out there our queens out there is just it's horrible it is really horrible so like i said i will link the story below um in the description and i also um if you can't find it then I also put a blog post on my website. Um, but if you don't see that there, then like I said, I will go ahead and direct you to the same site that I saw that I got this information on so you can follow this story. Um, I'm just going to end it right there. I hope that everyone's having a great day and I'm just going to speak peace within your walls. Speak this over everyone. Peace within your walls. I want everyone to have a great day. Fool me once, fool me twice Shame. When you're hiding things, might as well be lies Can you ever get it right? Wait. How long will I let this shit fly? Hit up my girls, pull up, I'm outside Waiting by the curb, too upset to drive you